Hey, it's Justin Kanoya, DJ, business coach, and idea sharer. And in this video, I'm talking about the basic setup in the new stems feature in Virtual DJ 2021. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is just figure out how to make sure the stems feature is turned on. So let's go over and look at this. When you first upgrade to Virtual DJ 2021, you're gonna get this dialog box. It's, it's the equalizer controls. And what it's asking you is what mode you want to put this advanced EQ mode in. Um, this isn't by any means turning on or turning off the stems feature. It's solely asking what will these equalizer knobs do or what are we going to have them behave as. And we've got this connected to my MCX 8000, which is a four channel mixer. Uh, these are the options that you're going to see when you've got a four channel mixer. Essentially, there are five options. Disable, Easy Remix, Modern EQ, Stems, and then maybe it's a 4A, not really a fifth uh, option, but it's asking you on a four channel mixer where you want the primary EQ knobs to reside. Do you want them on your main deck or do you want them on one of the outer decks? Now, if you've got a two channel controller connected, it's gonna look a little bit different because it's not gonna have this keep frequency EQs. It's gonna look like this. So in this mode, you're just being asked, um, you know, whether you want to select disabled, easy remix, modern EQ, or stems. You're not going to be able to have the other functionality that a four channel controller would be. So now that we've selected which mode that you want to go with, we still have to be sure that the stems feature is actually turned on. All right, so we're going to go into the options. And the easiest way to do this is just to type math. The stems feature resides in this area of the options called math engine. If you want it completely off, then you're just gonna hit disabled. And if you want it on, you're gonna choose one of these options. By default, CPU is what most people are selecting. So for my purpose, I'm gonna go ahead and click CPU. That's how we know it's on. There is a second set of settings that you want to get into and configure for yourself. Let's go into options again. And I'm going to just type waveform. Right now you can see that the waveforms in deck one are blue and the ones in deck two are red. Now I'm just explaining the difference between these two right here. So skin waveform type, that is referring to the waveform that is in this area right here. So all this stuff right here. Skin overview type is this area. So if you want these to be the exact same, you hit shapes on both of them and they look you know, pretty similar. Now what I like to do is actually um, do colors. And right now, not too much of a change, but that's when you go down to colored waveforms and now you have the option to choose uh, the colors you want. Right now it's in monochrome. If we want blue, we can see how that changes. And if we want red, you can see they're pretty much the same. They look the same. Matter of fact, let's load the same song in both decks and we can see that they're exactly the same because it's the same song. So the most basic form of this, something that a lot of people especially use in the default um, setting is on beats. And we can see what beats looks like uh, we could essentially it's just you know the beats of the, the track and we can kind of see how that looks. Shapes is what we had on earlier and this is showing you the waveform uh, as well as the areas that we can manipulate with stems. So really cool you can see how we're taking some things out. There's no vocal in this part so we really can't do anything with the vocal. Now what I like to do is per deck so you can see it's the same song, but the colors are different. So when everything was on shapes, I was kind of confused as to wonder like what happened to um, my multiple colors. Now you may choose to just keep it on shapes because that'll give you sort of a basic shape of the audio of the track, but it's gonna give you a very good definition of where the stems are. Really is gonna be dependent on what you want. And you can see the difference um, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put colors for the waveform and I'm going to keep the overview as shapes. So this is really helpful. Let's move this down a little bit. and I'm going to move the track up a little bit as well. But this is really helpful because you can still see the stems in the overview, but down here I can see the different colors and that's 
the mode that I'm most used to seeing. Now the last option that I want to talk about is wave gray on kill. I know it sounds a little ominous. So I'm going to go back to shapes. And again, now we can see the stems right in there. And we can see as I start to kill the different sections of the song, it's now gone gray, right? And this is helpful because now we actually know which part of the song is not there anymore. So right now I've killed the vocal, so it's gone. I've killed the instrumental and now that's gone. And that is with wave gray on kill selected yes. Now if we want to select that as no, then what happens is it doesn't matter when I'm messing around with these options, the waveform will look the same. All right, so that is a look at the different options in the waveforms. You can configure those, get it back to how you had it before, or maybe keep it in this new way. Whatever you choose, it's all configured, it's all customizable to you and your way that you DJ. All right, hope this video was helpful. If it was, please give it a big old fat thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. We're gonna be doing more videos about the Virtual DJ Stems feature, so be sure to hit the bell, subscribe, and like this video. Thank you for watching. I'm DJ Justin Kanoya, and I will see you next time online.